Well, we've already got one death. Hello everybody and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. And in case you didn't know, with the... I'm pretty sure all the 2D Zeldas, that number on the save screen shows how many deaths you have. We've already... We're already well on our way to many deaths. Trust me, it's gonna happen. Anyway, last episode, we got a, uh... Oh. Oh. Zero out of twelve. And I'm wearing green! Ah! Green, ugh. I'm... Did I save last? Oh. You know what it is. Anyway, never mind that. Hello, everybody! <laughs> Welcome back to Let's... Welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Le Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. And last time, we should have it this time. Yeah, there we go. We've got the tail key. We were told by Mr. Owl to make our way south. Where we, uh, I guess where we saw the uh, first dungeon with the... Oh, I never remember what those enemies are called. And they're only in the... They're only in the 2D Zeldas. I think that they have it in Link... I think they have the enemies in Link to the Past. You know, the guys that are pretty much a ball with a tail. Sort of look like the Chain Chomps, except, uh... Well, we'll see in just a second, anyway. <laughs> Won't we? Uh... Yeah, right down here. Hey, boys! I'm waiting for them to... Like, throw the ball right as I pass. I'm just, like, gonna act out, be like, ah! God damn kids! Never watching where they're throwing this their their crap. Um, I think we went too far. One minute, we got a map. We want to go here. No, that's Sales House of Bananas. No, we want to go here. Level one, Tail Cave. Santa, where am I? No, I know where I'm going. Originally, this was going to be a, a blind playthrough of the original 1986 Zelda. Thank god I did it. I'm terrible at that game. Might still put up the episode at some point, but... Oh my god. I mean, I, I knew where the first dungeon was, because I mean, who doesn't know where the first dungeon is? Well, I mean, I wouldn't have... had someone not shown me, but... Uh, details, details... <laughs> All right, here we go. The first dungeon, the tail dungeon. Yeah, these guys. I can never remember what they're called, but they're some of my favorite enemies in the Zelda games. Just because, well, they're unpredictable, which I know I was... No, I wasn't... <sighs> See what I tell you about the other Zelda episode. Oh, okay. Already hurt, right off the bat. I should be better than this. Anyway, this is standard 2D Zelda fare. Oh. No. Well, good thing we can... Good thing we can, uh... Slash those fireballs in half. The nightmare? Wait a minute. A tone will tell you if a key is hidden in a room when you enter. See, I'm pretty sure they had that sort of stuff in... Leg in, um... A Link to the Past, but... Yeah, whatever. They must have started development on this before Link, uh, Link to the Past. Unless I'm... Maybe I'm just remembering things wrong. Maybe this was out before Link to the Past. I'll have to check. Because this came out on the original Game Boy. I know that much. But they had the foresight to put a color palette on it. Hence why this is actually in color. I don't know, I'm gonna have to check, like, what the history behind this game was. At last! You know, after, like, what, five rooms? You got a map! Press the start button to look at it. Wait, start button? Oh! Interesting. I'm used to it being select. Ah, okay. What do we have here? Ah! It's like a spooky mansion, like a haunted house. I mean, with the <laughs> with some of the enemies, like wallmasters and stuff like that, kind of is like a spooky mansion. Ooh, 
Wait a minute, we need a boomerang before we can take those guys out. Unless... Hmm. Oh. Hello! Ouch. Alright, take that. Uh... I'm guessing we want them... Yeah, no, I'm guessing we want them on the same, uh... Sim... Uh... Screwed it up. I'm guessing we want them on the same symbol. Well, this is annoying. <laughs> I have no idea whether I got you or not. No! Stand still. Yeah, there we go, we got him. Fantastic. You found a stone beak. Let's find the owl statue that belongs to it. Well, okay. I don't know how uh, Link would have known that sort of stuff, but uh, yeah, owl statue. Turn aside the spined ones with a shield. Fascinating. <laughs> Again, all stuff we knew. If you're uh, new to my uh, Let's Plays, you won't... Perhaps you will not have known this, but um, I did do uh, Oracle of Seasons at some point. So this is pretty standard fare. I mean, I grew up on that game. Unfortunately, I never got my hands on this one because it was a little bit before my time, before I had a Game Boy, but... Seasons was right up my alley. 20 rupees. Joy! <laughs> Uh, this is great. So, bombs at some point, I'm guessing? Hmm. Hmm. Alright. I got this, I got this. Did we get all- yeah, we got all those rooms down there. Can we do this? Aha! I know how to fight those guys. Alrighty. Um... Oh. <laughs> there are rooms in uh, Oracle of Seasons that are pretty much like this, the long hallways, and they would start collapsing in on you as you had to run through them. But not this one, I guess. Haha. <laughs> oh god, I don't even need your help, Owl Statue. No, wait, they had owl, owl statues in, uh... The Oracle games as well, you used a mystery seat on them. Yeah, basic stuff, come on. It's like you think I've never even played a Zelda game. There we go. Get off in there. Oh, that'll work too. Turn aside the spot. Yeah, we got that already. I didn't even have to. Uh... Oh, my Goombas. Wait a minute. First we see the Chain Chomps, now Goombas. What the hell is going on here? What kind of game is this? Can I jump on top of those? Nope. Wait, wait, wait. This is a terrible idea. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm realizing just how much of my health I'm sacrificing for something stu uh, stupid like that. Okay. Floating hearts, whatever. Oh! Okay, Rock's Feather, awesome. I wasn't expecting to get... Well, if we did get that, I... Ooh, I wasn't expecting to get it for a while. Oof. Uh, I shouldn't have taken that risk. No oh, well. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. Oh, that's why I really love the Game Boy Zelda games. You can jump! <laughs> None of that dinky N64 jumping where you go to the edge of a ledge and it's like, huh? No, no. Tr tr true, proper jumping. Look, uh, look at that. Yeah. It's fantastic. <laughs> uh, wait, why am I going 
back. Oh yeah, there was that uh, winged heart. I want to find out what that is. What that's about? Heart piece? No. Oh, okay, it's just I guess health refill at that point. All right, now I really need to check if I can jump on these guys. Oh my god, I can. <laughs> oh man, if the, oh why oh, why didn't they have this kind of stuff in uh? The Oracle games, although it was the Oracle games were developed by Capcom, not by Nintendo proper. So I don't know if uh, I don't think this was developed by Capcom. I think it was just again no, Nintendo proper. Um, and I don't know if Capcom would have gotten permission from Nintendo to put in other Nintendo characters. They might, they could have, probably. Since, I mean, they are making a Zelda game. Like, why not give them the rights to put in... <laughs> not even Mario, just Mario-type items. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Type enemies. I mean... Do I have another key? I do. Okay. Ah. Oh, I... Got the Nightmares key. This is a very low-key, uh... Dungeon. Alrighty, then. <laughs> Expect I was expecting a bit more than just, uh... Yeah, go, go a few places. And, uh... Yeah, you're done. It's more like a tutorial, it feels, than an actual, uh... First dungeon. <laughs> Kill him. Although I did die, so... There's that. Oh, okay, yeah, now I see how we're supposed to get over there. Oh, no, no! <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh, God. There we go. No! Oh, jeez. Okay. Maybe not such a tutorial dungeon after all. Ooh, can I do this guy on one half of the heart? Uh, probably not. <laughs> well, we'll have to see, won't we? Oh, can I just knock him back? No, I can't, because... <laughs> well, it was worth the try, okay. But, now we're full heart. I could have probably just gone and filled my hearts and come back, but whatever. I don't play Zelda so I can be strategic. I play Zelda so I can have an adventure. Kill some bad guys, you know? Listen to some rockin' good chiptune music while I'm at it. <laughs> I love that. I really hope that's not just like a one dungeon thing that it keeps coming back, because that's fantastic. Eh, 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 come on. So for the longest time, I never actually knew what these enemies are. Were. Um, apparently these are, uh, what are they called? Uh, what are they? Ooh, ooh, ooh! What are they called? Um... Stealthos. Apparently they're Stealthos. And that's... That's... Kind of ridiculous to me. They look nothing like a Stealthos. Ooh. Ooh, can I jump with the... Sword chart? I can. Okay, that's gonna make things easier. Yeah, look at that! <laughs> what a joke! Wait a minute. Ah, he's the mid-boss. Okay. <laughs> That's why. Oh, let's not, uh, let's not fight the... The nightmare? Not quite yet. Oh. Uh, ooh. Just... <laughs> why is this here? <laughs> Just like, ooh. Gonna... Turn up the, uh, the seriousness of this dungeon. Oh, okay, no, these- okay. Buzz, buzz, outsider! <laughs> oh, okay, it's like the guy from, uh, Oracle of Seasons. Oh, I love this- that boss. This guy's a bit more, uh, stylized as well, which is cool. See, I love these guys. This, this guy- <laughs> this guy's probably gonna take me forever because they move pretty randomly, but, um, I've never- figured out how their pattern really works, but... <sighs> it's 
It's gonna take a little while. We need bombs, actually. One minute. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can get bombs from town first, because I want to bomb that wall. Do we need to buy, buy like a bomb bag or something? Or hmm. Let's see what we can do. Oh, it's kind of the lottery for the shop, too, isn't it? Oh, careful there now. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see. Can I... No. <laughs> Figured I'd see if I could jump over the plants or not. Okay. Is that... Hmm. Trendy game! One play, ten rupees. Yeah, I'll play. Okay, so B and A. Good luck. <gasps> oh. Ah, I see how this works now. I have to do it all in one go. You bastard. <laughs> you just pretty much stole ten rupees from me. There? Yes? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we got a Yoshi doll. I'm guessing that's a bigger bag for the uh, magic powder. It's not actually a bomb bag. Recently, he seems to be showing up in many games. Yeah, no kidding. This must have been after Link to the Past, because Yoshi didn't show up until, uh, Super Mario World, so... Oh, here's an actual shop. Hmm. Nothing worth it, though. This is just, uh... Ukuku Prairie! Brother East Animal Village! Okay. So nothing we can do here, then. Okay. Wait, who was it that wanted the Yoshi doll? There was someone. Someone in here. Wait, was it the mom? Wait a minute. Will you give that doll to my baby? Yes. Oh, thank you. You are indeed a generous person. I'll give you this in return. Oh. A bow. Maybe you can trade the ribbon for something else. Wait, um... Didn't... Didn't this, uh, this lady down here, didn't she say her little chain chomp wanted a bow? My Bow Wow is so proud of his fine fur coat. No, wait, wait, wait. I remember this. Oh! Wait a minute. Makeup! Jewels! Dresses! Now I want it all! <sighs> and some new accessories would be nice. Ha! Oh, that ribbon! I need it! Will you trade for my dog food? Hell yeah! Dog food! Oh my god! Lucky! Thanks, well here's, here's your can of dog food. Oh my god, I can't believe it. It's full of juicy beef. Ha! You really missed out. Makeup, jewels, dresses! I want it all! Oh, that's kind of cute after you put a bow on him, I guess. <laughs> well, I don't know what we're going to be doing with a can of dog food, but... I guess we'll hold on to it for now. Now this is going to be like the, uh, again, the trading quest in Oracle of Seasons. I didn't realize how much they actually recycled from this game. I thought it was just the engine. <laughs> there ends up being a staff for me to, uh, that I'm building to wake the windfish or something. I'm done. <laughs> it's like you guys didn't even try. Well, I mean, these guys did, but... Oh! <laughs> The, uh, Oracle guys. No, they didn't even try then. Whoop, whoop. There we go. Need that heart before I start taking on this boss, otherwise... 
I couldn't even last a second against that guy. Not in my current incarnation. But once I get the power of a heart... Oh, no! Jesus. Okay, wait, let's charge up the sword to do that. What? what am I even trying to do? I need to actually charge up the sword for that attack, don't I? Otherwise, I'm probably going to be there for hours. Even if I had full hearts. I don't know why I'm just attacking with the basic attack, either. It's not like he move. That's why, okay. <laughs> so he'll knock me down. Alright, this is getting more interesting now. God, every thing has to hit for an entire heart. <laughs> Wait a minute. Because they're the easier guys down here. Yeah. Never mind. Nope. Uh, what I wouldn't do for a heart. Had to be ho so hard to get. Damn it. Single heart, come on. Come on. Don't make me go all the way to the floating heart, come on. Uh, there's a guy down here I can hit, can I? Yeah, no, they don't really get hearts, do they? I refuse! Oh, the Goombas are pretty good at giving hearts. Now I need two. Because I was idiot enough to think like, Oh, I'm going down, I might as well jump on him by descending on him by a ladder. That works, right? Let's see. Well, that filled my health, so... Why can't it be right next to the boss? <laughs> I guess that would make things a bit too easy, though. There we go. Not that this is... That difficult. Ugh. <laughs> no! All my effort... Gone to nothing. <laughs> Should've just taken him on as I was. I'd have a better chance then. Get over here. Uh, if I can get one heart, I can take him on with two and a half. Never mind. Now I need two. Who's the biggest idiot in the room? I am. I can just take him on now. Screw the consequences. Okay, let's try this again, without wasting everybody's time. Here we go. Now you. And now me. Let's try this again. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Very good. Not so good. Why can't there be just a heart down here or something? Oh, I did not want to do that. That was a waste of a slice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hmm. This guy seems harder than the... Oracle of Seasons guy. <laughs> Maybe it's a smaller platform, I'm not sure. Well... Looks like I'm not getting that, uh, even that low death run. <laughs> there we go, there's one. Two. Wait, that's it. Two charged up hits, that was it? Ah. <laughs> oh well, we got him. So that's what matters. Okay, what do we have here? Uh... 
Well, we'll find out. We got the Full Moon Cello. Interesting. Well, we're one step towards waking the windfish. Swamp. A path opens. In the blooms. Well, I guess we're heading to the swamp now, then. Alright, so that took... Oh! Hood. That is an instrument of the sirens. I have to admit. At first, I did not believe you were real. That instrument along with the seven others in the set, has the power to wake the windfish. You must collect them all. <laughs> Gotta catch them all. I was instructed to give you directions. Your next goal is Nor. In Gaponga Swamp. Hoot, indeed. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I guess we weren't just... Making things up for ourselves. We're headed towards the swamp, everybody. So next time on Let's Blindly Play... Ooh! Hey, buddy! It's serious, yeah! Really serious, yeah it is! The Moblins came to the village! Yeah, that's right! A whole gang of Moblins! Then... It's for real! They all went to the house. Yeah, yeah, that house. And then they did something at Bow Wow's house. It was a really bad scene with the moblins. So I mean, ah! <laughs> Calm down, kid. Try and string together your sentences one word at a time. It, it might be faster to find out for yourself what happened. All right, so apparently there are moblins about. We'll find out what's going on next time. Ooh. Anyway, we'll find out what happened, what's going on next time on Let's Blindly Play Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening with me, Oxville. Actually, you know what? We've got the money now. Let's take a crack at this fishing game. How about some fishing, little buddy? I'll charge you ten rupees. <laughs> okay, here's how you do it. Left and right, aim a cast. Once you hook a fish, press the button rapidly to reel him in. All right. I want that far one. No, no, no! Get out of here, fish! God damn it! Yes. Oh, wait, we should go for that big one right down below us. No, no, no! I want one of those big ones. Yeah, whatever. I'm in it for the big fish, but I gotta, I gotta clear the waters first. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. I don't care, old man. I know how to fish. There we go. We got him. We got him. Alright, it's a runt. I'll only give you f yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I know, old man. Come on. Alright, let's try this guy right here. Let it go down. Oh man, it's like Sega Bass Fishing, yeah! Come on. Take your time. After all, this is supposed to be a uh, soothing and relaxing pursuit, correct? Oh no, can we not... Okay, there we go. We just gotta... We gotta go up more to get over now that we're so close. That's cool. Alright, we're getting close. It's gonna take a while though. Hey, there we go. Okay, get back here, you. Come on. Yeah, there we go. It's a big one and it has a piece of heart, too. We get 20 rupee prize on top of that. See, we already made back our money. Almost. Alright. So let's get this guy. Alright, I want it to be about here. 
I think, any farther away and we wouldn't be able to get him. Come on! No, I don't think I have to actually press that hard, but... Oh, no, come on, come on! There we go. It's a Lunker! I'll give you a 20 rupee prize. Nah, nah, we're done. We, we got... <laughs> we completely emptied out your fishing pond, except for that little run. Let him, you know... You have to have more passion! Live a little! There's nothing else left, old man. Come on, you're living in the past. Uh, mass fishing and depleting the seas is where it's at, man. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.